In the final part of this question, we're asked whether the submarine will rise to the surface, sink or float at a constant depth. I'm starting my answer with a free body diagram showing the forces that are acting on the submarine. We have the up thrust that's described in the first part of the question that's going up the way. Countering that, we have the weight due to gravity which is going to act downwards on the submarine. We're told in the question that the up thrust is 550,000 newtons. What about the weight? Well, weight is equal to mg, and we're told that the mass of the submarine is 50,000 kilograms. So we find that the submarine has a weight of 490,000 newtons. Let's put these numbers onto a free body diagram then. We have an upthrust force acting upwards of 550,000 newtons. And we have the weight force, which has a size of 490,000 newtons, acting downwards. If I resolve these two forces now, you'll see that I have an overall net force acting upwards, and the size of that force is 60,000 newtons. So what does that mean? Well, it means that the submarine will rise to the surface of the water.